Yaorana. Bonjour. Hello. My name is Amanda Bana and I'm speaking to you from my house in Tahiti, French Polynesia. I would like to tell you the incredible story of Edward Ellsworth Guy, a disciple, missionary, good Samaritan, and servant of Jesus. Ed Guy was born in Santa Monica, California. His family traveled extensively because of his father's work. According to his sister, Eva, he was a sensitive boy, but also one who had a very strong character. He is also a man of great academic achievement, graduating from Grayson College in 1957, Central Washington University in 1961, and the University of Missouri in Kansas City in 1966. He joined the Army and served two years in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Ed lived most of his six and a half decades among the poor of Latin America, especially in Mexico, then in Honduras and Guatemala. He was less concerned with his personal security than with the spiritual needs of his people. He was often in dangerous urban environments. He prayed with those who feared for their lives while bullets flew in homes and stole during the Civil War in El Salvador. I remember in his lecture, David Brock mentioned, and I quote, a guy was bypassing the rebels or talking in his own way with government soldiers. And sometimes he had this white handkerchief. He was just waving as he was trying to make his way to say, hey, I'm just taking medication or I'm just taking food for these people, end of quote. He was a peacemaker and a reconciler. He told the stories of the Bible and the Book of Mormon. He helped plant churches in boiling mining towns in remote mountain villages and amid the chaos and harsh daily existence in urban centers in Mexico and Central America. Ed was tireless. He could send you with him for a visit, and it ended in a long journey. He was a true Christian, a person of faith. He believed in prayer, and if you stayed alone around him long enough, you would also be a believer. He knew the value of his personal time of prayer and meditation. He spent time alone even in the midst of pressure. Let me share with you a story told by David Brock, and I quote, After a very long day, Ed wanted to go on a last little visit to the hospital in San Salvador with his supervisor, Darrell Mike, who was minister appointed to Latin America for many years. Despite tiredness, Darrell agreed to accompany him. So here we go. There were songs, prayer for the healing of the sick to someone who was in a room with other patients, who in turn asked to receive prayers, and then the nurses also. And several hours later, they were all over the hospital praying for the people. End of quote. It was one of the most powerful experiences of Darrell Mike's ministry that often say, and I quote, Ed was a true Christian, a person of faith who made you a person of faith. End of quote. He did not hesitate to sleep on floors or on narrow benches to accompany the sick, the dying, the imprisoned. He anointed the heads of the sick and prayed for their healing. So many times Ed has given his last pesos or dollars and sometimes even his shirt or shoes if necessary. David Brock mentions in his lecture, and I quote, If we took a taxi or a bus to another city and a friend 
or acquaintance was with Ed, he would find a way to get that person in and pay the fare, or find another means of transportation, end of quote. There could be government appointments to hold, taxes to catch, sermons to preach, but if a person, a single person in need, came to his door or was on his way, all future plans were of little importance. Only the person in need mattered the most. Ed just did what Jesus would have done. However, Ed Guy's difficult lifestyle had an impact on his health. He suffered from narcolepsy, a disorder that causes intermittent and uncontrollable episodes of sleep. As a result, he rarely drove but instead walked to public transportation. He did not take his medicines, his drugs, and his health declined without changing his habits. Ed received the first International Human Rights Prize for Service to Humanity at the 1994 World Conference of the Community of Christ Church. And on September 21, 2001, Edward Ellsworth, a guy, died on, of a heart attack on Guatemala. There are so many stories to discover about this iconic character, and I encourage you to try to get to know him better. In all his work, he shared ministries of spiritual comfort and pastoral sensitivity. He has demonstrated powerful faith, high personal values, and boundless love. Well, I choose to tell you about Ed Guy's story today because it may call into question our ministry where sometimes we struggle to get to places we don't want to go, or sometimes we are reluctant to bring our ministry where God wants us to go. I was amazed and grateful by his courage determination, and ministry. For me, Ed is a perfect example to talk about human goodness. And his story gives me hope. He reminds me of this person who comes into my office one morning and invites me to follow him into town, into town when I don't want to. It is this person who sometimes reminds me that presence Prayer and love can make a difference in a person's life. Thank you all and blessings.